Hey everyone, welcome to this special series 23 of the festival playlists. As you can see, there has been a little problem with playgrounds. They had a problem with the update. So what do we get? We get some pocket money this week. And as you can see on the others, that probably will change next week. Everything is about credits, wheel spins and super wheel spins. Now, it always can happen that something goes wrong in an update. Um, but then again, there are a lot of new players. They should at least give a little bit more than 90,000 credits. Just give 1 million credits for every championship and the new people can buy actually new cars. So let's have a look at the Forzaton challenge and the championships. First of all, we go into the Forzaton shop. Here you have the Mini Cooper and we also have the Austin Martin. Now that was a rare car, so if you don't have it, you can always get it. We have the helmet and a skeleton. Now let's have a look at the Forzaton. We need to own and drive the Bugatti of 2011, 30 ultimate speed skills. We need 12 stars on a speed trap and we need four ultimate skill chains. So I'm already in the Bugatti, um, 30 ultimate speed skills, well that's pretty easy. It's an S2, you just go to the highway and drive up and down till the Forzaton pops up. Then the next one, we need a total of 12 stars uh, on a speed trap, what's that? Yep, speed trap. So let's have a look on the map, which one is the easiest for the Bugatti? Since Bugatti's gone steer. There you go. The one that you should take is this one. No, it's... Where are you? My street speed trap just vanished. Ah, here it is. The Roman Mile. Why should you take this one? Basically, you need 3 stars on 362. So they didn't add uh, a speed themselves. So you can basically just start here. And just drive. You only need 12 stars. It's combined. So it doesn't matter if you got 1 star, 2 star, 3 stars. Just watch out for the traffic. We got this fast enough. I see Dravitas coming. Oh. Well, there you go. Just watch out. Well, that will be like a two star if I didn't hit that Dravatar. But that's the easiest way. You can just turn around and do that again. It's just combined, so don't bother much about it. Here we need four ultimate skill chains. Now, how much do you need for the ultimate skill chains? Basically, you need 20,000 and then bank it. It's very simple. Go to the Greendale airstrip. If you have perk points, just put the perk points on. Um, the car goes stock to multiplier 5. But you can put it on that if you hit something. Uh, you won't lose your skill points. Here skill multiple builds twice as fast. And all that stuff. If you have the points just put the things on that you actually need. You don't need this, this, this. That's all not necessary. So what you need to do. Just drift a little bit, hit some stuff, whatever. Um, when the multiplier is on 20,000, uh, when the score is on 20,000, just stop the car and bank, and then you will have the ultimate skill chain. Now, let's look at the championships. I'll go to my map, I'll put the speed trap off. There you go. Here. The trial. I was lucky with randoms that I won the first time. First we won, lost one. So that was good. We need a B700 Mazda. It's dirt racing. Now there's only one Mazda that I always use for that. And it always works. And it will keep working. And this is the 1994 Mazda MX-5 Miata. Very fast car, very good. Especially in dirt. I really advise you to take that one. What do we win? Credits. Or wheel spin. I can't remember. Um, it's all about credits and wheel spins. Now let's have a look at playgrounds. 
Here we need a B700 Retro Rally. So let's have a look at the cars. I'll put the B on. And then go to Retro Rally. Retro Rally. There you go. So you have several cars that you can actually choose. Well, basically, I'm probably going to take the Renault. Because that was uh, in the previous season and that was pretty good. You can actually also take that one. But I'm not sure uh, if it will work on the beach, this one. But this one is actually the fastest. Uh, so I'll probably take the Toyota or the Renault. But I will see that later on on my stream on Twitch tonight. Then here... Horizon decades. So we need a D500. It's cross country from the 50s. Now the 50s, that's pretty old. So let's go to the year and then go to the 50s. So we got a lot of choice here. Um, what will I take? I actually. Well, you can always take the smiley car. It didn't pop up for some reason, but I always take the smiley car. Now, since it didn't pop up for some reason, I don't know what's going on. I actually took the Porsche 550A Spider. Now, what can you win from that? I have no idea. It was cr uh, probably 90,000 credits, um, but... Well, that's a little bit pocket money. Nobody, that's you can buy a few cars of it, but that's all. Very cheap cars. Now let's go to forest racing. We need the S1 900 modern supercars. Now I don't know. I got a lot of cars in that category also in the previous one, but I think like a half are not showing up. So what car did I take for that? I actually took this one. Where are you? I took the 2012 Ascari KZ1R. Very fast car, very good, very grippy, very good in handling. So this car, I would really recommend you to do that. What do we win? 90,000 credits. Then here, Chaotic Commute. What is that? We need the A800 Vans and Utilities. So let's go have a look at the cars. Because I know people say, oh, you need to take that car. Yeah, I know that we need to take that car. Uh, what was that class again? I'm sorry, I completely forgot. A class. So, we need an A class. Fans and utilities. Now, the car that I took for this is the HSV, the limited edition. Uh, you can also take that car, but uh, when I tune it... Weeks ago, months ago, <coughs> this car was actually way better. You can also take that one, but I have no tune for it. Um, but you also can take the van, the Ford van for it, but that is limited on top speed. So actually, I took the HSV for that. Now, I must say, from every championship, I didn't even see one Dravatar, so I don't know if they even make it more easier this week because of the problems and the updates um, but just so you know it's it's a very easy week here we have the monthly rivals just drive without hitting something uh, take a very slow driver or whatever you want you will easily have that here is the online adventure that's like every month do Qualify for 10 lobbies. If you've already been qualified, you just need to do one lobby and you're fine with that. Also, the percentage of everything will be in the description. Now, let's go over to the stunts. There you go. So, first of all, let's go to this one. I think, didn't we do this last week? Well, I took my Ferrari out. You can also take the muzzler, but you know, the Ferrari is a little bit bumpy, so you can take the muzzler or some other car um, if you don't have the Ferrari. Basically, any dirt car that is like S2 will make it here. Just watch out for the trees. 
Um, well, I'm recording my video, so I'm probably gonna fail. I did it in the first one before. I'm not sure if I can do it again. Well, that was not really impressive, but it's okay. Well, you can do it with the Ferrari or take, for example, the Hoonigan RS200 or the Ford RS200, the Mosler. There are so many cars you can actually use for that. Then here we have a speed zone. The speed zone starts there. I think, yeah, I'm pretty sure I started from the left side. Again, it's summer, so grip is fine. Just be careful with the uh, with the corners. Especially this one. And here you can go full throttle with the Ferrari. There you go. If you go from the other side, you can... If you can brake very well, you can also go from the other side. But then you need to brake very hard uh, for the corner. Now, where is the last one? That one is here. That's always been a little bit of an annoying one. You can actually do it from both sides. Um, I'll show you one side. And then the other side. You need 281 kilometers an hour. Now, that's not really much if you are in a Ferrari or a Mosler. You just need to watch out for the bridge. But this corner is pretty sharp. But then again, if you take it from the inside you can see the Ferrari already goes very high and very fast so you don't have problems to actually get this now if you want to try it from the other side let's have a look so now I'm coming from this side I don't like this side of the sharp corner and also the bridge, so I would take that side, just go here at the inside of the corner, make sure if the fences are gone that you don't slow down and you will be fine. Well basically that's it, this is like a special, special festival playlist of the summer this time, as you can see. Everything is about money, money, credits, credits, wheel spins, super wheel spins. Um, it's really nothing I do wish, especially for new players or players that are playing it long, that they actually gave a little bit more credits. But then again, who am I to decide that? Well, that's it for today. I'll be streaming tonight to help you out to get that little bit of credits. And uh, while well, there are no new cars, so basically I do would like to know from everybody that watched my video. Put in the comments what you think of this. Would you have rather had that they give a little bit more money? Or what you think of this special update problem thingy? Well, let's see. I'll be streaming tonight on Twitch, hopefully everybody comes and we will just have fun doing the festival playlists. The credits doesn't matter, if you need credits just let me know, I'll just buy out your cars or club members of mine will buy out the cars. Thank you everyone for watching, hopefully I'll see you tonight and have a good evening, bye bye.